All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Hussein Kazal, and I'm uh, here with Remy Vichery. Uh, we're Hi. from Nuage uh, Networks, and we're part of the technical uh, uh, integration of our, our partners uh, within Nuage Networks. So today we'll be talking about uh, the topic is uh, one small step for SDN, uh, one huge leap for uh, Dev com DevOps community, and that's basically um, we're going to talk about what Nuage does, give you a little bit of overview for the people who are not familiar with Nuage, and then uh, one of the challenges we faced when we were building our ecosystem and how uh, we were able to overcome it using OpenStack and Nuage. Um, and we're basically launching a new service uh, using that product. So. For the people that don't know, we're Nuage Networks. We are uh, based in Silicon Valley. We're uh, uh, a little over three years. A Nokia Venture focused on leveraging our expertise in networking and bringing that to cloud environments. To sum it up, we basically connect anything, any workload, anywhere, over any infrastructure. It's a completely software-based virtual solution that spans uh, multiple data centers. And we've been a member of the OpenStack community for, for a while now. Uh, for architecturally, the, the product is three tiers. Uh, at the management uh, layer, we have the virtualized service directory, which is basically our policy manager. It has a northbound API interface um, and basically manages the entire overlay network. In the second tier, it's a controller, which is based on Alcatelus and Nokia's uh, service uh, router. We, we virtualize the control plane. And that enables us to scale. Uh, so as your, uh, the number of hosts that you have in the data center increases, you basically add more controllers and they peer. The advantage here is actually you can peer with another PE router. And that provides you the multi-data center capability. On the data path, we have the VRS, virtualized router and switch, which is OVS based with modifications in the user space to allow us to provide distributed routing. The advantage there is that we said we connect any workload, so containers, virtual machines, uh, bare metal servers, um, through a gateway or by installing our VRS on the bare metal itself, the VRSB. And then the gateway is we have a soft gateway that will provide VLAN to VXLAN connectivity, which is our overlay solution, um, or basically using a physical gateway where you plug in, whether it's ours or our partners, such as Arista, HP, Dell, uh, uh, Dell Cumulus. And when we look at least our focus area is the building a technology partner program around the product. As a networking product, we basically have multiple touch points with the partner solutions from management and orchestration, such as service orchestrators, cloud management systems, such as OpenStack, CloudStack. Uh, from appliance perspective, we service chain. Uh, so whether you're a security service or appliance or a load balancer, um, whether you're a platform, um, such as a, like you have a hypervisor or uh, networking products such as the top rack switch, um, and then we have the system integrators. So looking at all of those things, we uh, and you know we start with a small number, obviously, of partners, um, and then we over the years we were adding those partners. And the thing that enabled us to do that is that there's nothing really custom about our integration with the partners. Everything we do from a networking perspective is um, API driven. So all of the um, the integrations are. Um, standard. So when we work with uh, an appliance such as a load balancer, we're using LBAS, whether V1 and V2. Um, and what we do with one partner, we do with everybody. So that enables our customers to kind of build the best of breed solutions. As you can see from the footprint, it's very difficult to, with four people to be able to um, do all of these uh, partnerships. Um, and most of them are technical integrations where you need the partner to kind of uh, deploy your, instant, your platform, uh, learn from, learn how to use it, and then develop code to communicate with it, whether it's to provision or pull information out. So um, to formalize our kind of uh, partnership program, we're launching a sort of a, a technology alliance program. We call it the Nuage VIP program. And that basically helps us to um, build a three-tier uh, model where, depending on the level of engagement that the partner wants from us um, in terms of uh, strategic, uh, preferred, or access, the more uh, engagement that they want to do, it's obviously at a strategic level. And then the, if they want to self-serve, it's the access tier. 
and that's around mostly development, but also includes support sales and marketing for the higher tiers. If anybody wants to, if you have a product or you're a developer that wants to build something on top, we're, uh, we're launching the program. Um, you can go to our website or email us to kind of uh, join and we'll provide you with a guide and all the benefits that you get. One of the tools uh, that will enable you as a partner to build an integration with Nuage, we're calling it the Nuage Networks Experience, which is basically a service that we're launching this week. And as mentioned, you know, we, we consider the platform very dynamic, very flexible, very scalable. Um, and you know, all of the, the cool features that we have are great. We open sourced our VSPK, which is an SDK uh, a year ago. That it'll lab, it's a wrapper around our API. So there's documentation on uh, the links I have. You can go and basically download it, and then uh, you'll be able to develop, use it to develop an integration. The challenge there was, in order for you to take advantage of it, you actually have to have a new Azure instance installed on-prem. So you have to record resources, install it. And that was a challenge that we're overcoming today with Nuage X. So what Nuage X is basically targeting developers, customers, and partners to enable them to really leverage that VSBK and do an integration without having to install anything on-prem. Right? Um, and the main use cases are testing, curiosity, if you just want to figure out what Nuage is about. If you're a partner that wants to build an integration, with Nuage to, to kind of insert your service or to pull information. Um, basically, all of those, if you're a customer that wants to test our next release, test your APIs against a future release, this is uh, kind of a, another use case uh, for this platform. And the way it works is basically we are hosting um, a, uh, in, our in a data center a bunch of servers, and then we'll allow you to log in, deploy our management and control planes, and then connect any host that you own, whether it's in a public cloud, in a private data center, or on some of our partners. Uh, you basically, as long as it can has IP connectivity to our public uh, instance, you'll be able to connect all of your workloads to that control management plane and be able to spin up containers, virtual machines, and then um, uh, test whatever you want, develop whatever you want. Um, and that's kind of also one of our partner, like if you're a partner that wants to run a demo with Nuage, you can basically, you don't have to install the management control. It's basically, we just spin up. And uh, the process is very simple. Um, you go to nuagex.io, you log in. Um, you basically select from a list of uh, available labs, depending on the use case. Um, and then once you deploy it, we'll actually, depending on the environment that you're using, if you're a CentOS shop, Ubuntu, we will auto-generate a script that will automatically install our VRS on your hypervisor, connect it to your lab. And then the next thing is basically you just run containers or uh, spin up VMs, and they'll be controlled using our control and management uh, plane. And all this, uh, the key thing here is how quickly you are. So the aim is like less than five minutes, you're logged in, deployed the lab, and are able to connect your host and spin up VMs and containers. Um, the website is nuagex.io, and then uh, it'll be launching fr like Friday. You'll have basically uh, the website to, to create an account and then um, get credentials. And uh, Remy is going to, uh, to the interesting part, which is the actual demo, and he'll talk about how we built it while the demo is set up. Sorry. Thanks, Hussein. So for those of you who were not there at the beginning of the session, my name is Remy Vichery. I'm a technical marketing expert at Nuage Networks. Uh, I'm mainly focusing on uh, technical integration with partners, but today, as Susan mentioned, we'll not talk about integrating new partners. Uh, what we'll do is actually a real cool live demo about the NuageX leveraging the NuageX pla uh, platform by deploying like thousands of containers in a matter of minutes using a NuageX Networks experience uh, platform and some um, bare metal servers. Uh, deploy on packet.net. Actually, we requested like some bare metal server from packet.net, which is like a public cloud provider for bare metal assets. And uh, we deploy the lab on our premise to be able to run this demo. So let's jump into the actual architecture. So what we did beforehand is we deployed uh, VSC and VSD using Nuage Networks experience. And we have requested 25, 10, 25 server 
uh, from Packet.net um, across two different data centers. One is hosted in Newark, New Jersey, and the other one in Sunnyvale, California. So actually, we'll deploy thousands of containers, so maybe 10,000, across completely two different data centers. And as Adnosh Networks, we love challenges. We'll not do 10,000 on 25, but we'll actually do 25,000, and we'll try to keep it before the end of the timer. So it's actually demo time. But just before jumping into the um, uh, deploying the containers, I will just like do a quick walkthrough about the, the new Ajax portal. So um, basically, when you'll uh, have an account and register, we'll activate your account. And you'll be able to go to this screen and actually um, use your login and password to access the dashboard. Uh, obviously, in this dashboard, we already have in a, um, a lab already deployed because that's the lab that we'll be using for the live demo. Uh, but the steps to deploy a new lab will be really simple. We want you to be able, like, really to deploy new HVSP in a minute. So what is by doing just like clicking on the plus button on the on the bo bottom right corner? Um, you just fill up a name, for example, um, OpenStack Barcelona and select actually a date where the lab will expire. And you'll click on it, and it will start normally. It will start, oh, I reached my quota, actually. So <laughs> there is a quota one-on-one. -on -one. So I reached my quota, so I, I, can, I can deploy it. But uh, if I had another account, I will show you. It will start deploying, and in a matter of minutes, the lab will be ready, and you'll be able to see the same thing of that. So the lab will be started, and you'll be able to access this environment. So what will happen there is you'll have the credential to access your dedicated instance of VSD. And by clicking on uh, Access VSD, it will open a new tab and start like um, getting the, um, the VSD architect page. Let's jump to this one. So yeah, it's getting there. All right, so I'm logging to, the, to this VSD instance that is deployed only for you. Um, and I see that I have actually zero containers, but we have deployed some subnets uh, beforehand because obviously we, we need like a topology before launching all these containers. So now let's switch like to the most interesting part and the CLI commands. Um, so I separate the, the, the screen in two, two parts. On the left side, we'll have a counter and a timer uh, that will uh, increase uh, as soon as we deploy more and more containers. And on the right side, I will just launch a script that will connect to the 25 hosts and deploy the containers. All right. So as you can see, the, the containers are, are starting to, to be deployed. And what you see currently is the number of Docker containers already running on the VSP platform. So what happened is we don't take the counter from the Docker host, but we take them directly from our management plane. So that means that when the container appears there, it means that the IP address gets already allocated, and all the security policies are already distributed across the 25 hosts. So as it will take like uh, maybe, I don't know, five or six minutes if we can't get there. Um, I will just talk briefly about um, how we use OpenStack and why we use it to build this new Ajax platform. So oh, here. So ooh, did not go. Just go, yeah. yeah. So one year ago, uh, we had this idea about creating a demo platform for our partners. Uh, and we started like, to build uh, some service on it based on OpenStack Juno and the network VSP. And some weeks after releasing it like internally, we, we saw that it was a great idea to share it with our uh, cust uh, not customer, but employee to be able to leverage that and deploy demo on demand in front of customer. 
Uh, one year later, we have almost deployed, I think, 14,000 VMs on this platform. Uh, so, and we have like a really, really good demand, maybe around 300 users or something like that internally. So this was nuts, and uh, there is no joke there. <laughs> it was really called nuts. And um, now it's Nuagex. So what we did is we, we took the, the nuts portal and split it in multiple micro microservices uh, to be able to quickly add new feature. Uh, we had like so many features for the new Ajax, like organization, uh, documentation, templates. There is a bunch of new things that, that are coming with the new Ajax uh, release. And we have taken the path to upgrade also to OpenStack Liberty to leverage um, new functionalities that are available in it, for example, uh, it's a uh, snapshot because of you'll see some of our uh, employees want to snapshot their stack and be able to restore it before going to a customer demo. So one of the challenges uh, was to, um, we were deploying the environments, but we had to link uh, those environments to a rancher platform, which is running like Docker containers, actually, or our management plane um, is done in, in containers, so every service that you saw on the previous slide is deployed as one or multiple containers. And what happens when you click on deploy? Actually, it deploys a new lab on OpenStack, and also it deploys a, a new container on the Rancher platform to actually monitor the lab. So what, what was the challenge there is we, we needed to put that container in the same network as the VSC and VSD. So by using the Nuage Network VSP and Dolly, um, we were able to seamlessly connect both the Docker containers and the VM together. So now let's see if time's I think still good minutes. for us. Let's switch back to the counters. So actually, we're already at 12,000 containers. So maybe uh, I talk too fast. <laughs> yeah, you can go back to um, the, the last slot, uh, the other environment. So just scroll all the way down. Mm. This one? Yeah, just this one, yeah. And then just talk about multi-tenancy maybe. Actually, what, what we did also there is like we leverage, we try to leverage our VSP platform um, really and use all the features that are available. And one w which, which was really uh, um, interesting there is um, as an end user, we'll, you'll be able to access those VSD and VS instance. Uh, but we didn't want, for example, uh, one customer or one end user to be able to jump from this host to the other one. And we use for that like um, Nurse Network's micro segmentation to tell that anything that is going from env to any other environment will be blocked. And we only allow environments to get out of the network or come in on a special port. So by, by, by doing that, we are, security, we, we are securing um, well our environments. And we are sure that nobody can come in on, on, on a lab mess up the lab and jump onto other things. So we are sure that we are not propagating like malwares or things between different environments. So it's almost one minute before the end of the, of the talk. You can go to the last one, uh, and, just, and then we can go back to the demo. Yeah. Um, OK. So just to, to conclude this talk, um, and then we'll jump back to the, to the demo screen to see where it goes. Um, Nurse Networks is really an open platform because we have open REST API. All the REST API documentation is available on uh, GitHub. The API specs, the lat latest API specs are also available. Um, we have released a couple of SDK in Python, Go, Java. And we are soon to release like a new SDK, not for our REST API, but for uh, actually managing the data plane. Um, as you said, mentioned, we just launched so the Nuage Network VIP program. So it le lets our partner to uh, have compelling solution together. 
And by Friday, you'll be able to access the NuageDex.io website and click on the registration. And we'll start to activate accounts maybe every, every week as beta users. And um, let's see, if you have any question or want something like to bring back to your family, just came by Boost C32, and we'll uh, really happy to answer sure any question. Um, let's come back here. So here you go. So we had deployed 20,000 containers in actually six minutes and 23 seconds. So that was really cool. Think but I think the coolest thing about that is I think other, maybe other vendors can do the same thing. But what w is really powerful is we have pushed not only IP addresses, but also we have pushed policies across the whole cluster. So what we'll do ne next is we'll just get all the IP addresses and all the names of all the containers, so the 20,000 containers, and we'll start uh, selecting uh, randomly some containers to, to, to launch something between the, between the, the, the endpoints. So what happened is the, the container uh, 10, 15, 50, 55, 90 as a source will ping like container one, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And you can see that actually the ping are, are working. So and the, the container can be deployed like in New Jersey or Sunnyvale. We actually don't care. It, for us, it's actually the same network. That's it. Thanks for attention. Thank you. Thank you.